happening for Thursday, October 8th. I'm going to pull a little bit of a fast one here on my record prediction for Penn State this season. I'm going to go 6-2. and two. Oh, Wait a minute, that's only eight games. I thought they were supposed to play nine games. Well, I don't think Penn State's going to play all nine games. I don't think these teams in the Big Ten are going to be able to play all nine games. Uh, something's going to get uh, post-canceled because of uh, the coronavirus. All right, so in reality, I'm going to go 7-2. and two. My, my record prediction is 7-2. I'll do another video later on on whether or not Penn State will play all these games or not. But I'm going to go 7-2 and two, uh, under the nine-game schedule. I think there's going to be a loss to Ohio State in Week 2. And, and the disappointing thing for Penn State with that Ohio State game is they won't have the electric home atmosphere at Beaver Stadium with the whiteout that you would expect for a typical Ohio State game. I say all the time, if Penn State ever has a chance to win the Big Ten, you have to look and see where that Ohio State game is. If it's in Columbus, you got to think, okay, that's going to be really difficult and you won't necessarily like Nittany Lions odds. If it's at Penn State, hey, Penn State has given Ohio State trouble uh, really they're a, a good bit. Going back to the 05 wideout game, which was a tremendous win. The 2016 game, which really got the program back on the map. But they won't have that atmosphere. And so it's really going to be more of a sterile kind of environment. And, and I, I think Ohio State's got the better team. So I'm going to pick Ohio State to win that. Uh, my other loss for Penn State, probably at Michigan going on the road. Now, the same thing, uh, just in reverse. Michigan won't have uh, a tremendous home field advantage with the big house or anything like that. Which, and that'll help Penn State. Um, but that that uh, wraps up that Penn State plays uh, Iowa the week before. Then they got to go to Michigan. So back-to-back -back, um, uh, tough physical opponents. The Iowa game is at home. I think Penn State will win that, although it could be tough. And then they got to go to Michigan. So I'm going to take a loss there and go 7-2 and two on the season. Now, the trip to Indiana, that's a little tricky. I do think Penn State will go to Nebraska and win that maybe kind of handily, but it is a long trip. And you never know when you got to go on the road. The rest of the games, I think, will be okay. So I'll go seven and two for the Nittany Lions. The Vegas betting odds are seven and a half, which means that for the over/under victory total, which means I would uh, take the under. But again, and and I'll talk more about this extensively later on. I don't. I just don't see Penn State playing all nine of these games. Um, so my. Wink, wink <laughs> prediction is uh, six and two, but uh, for the sake of the order with a nine game schedule, I will go seven and two for Penn State this year. Have a good day, folks.